probiotic potential of lactobacillus strain isolated from fermented dog moon, plantain pass enriched with soybean and fish. The following outline will be adopted introduction, methodology, result and discussion, conclusion and perspective. In introduction, there has been an increasing research interest in probiotic microorganisms I, as con contribute to the recognition as relief promoter that modulate the good microbiota. Numerous studies on the use show positive effect on host health. These positive effects include production of bacteriocin, elevation of lactose intolerance, reduction of intestinal pathogen, hypolyscolotremic effect, simulation of human system, and prevention of antibiotic associated diarrhea, inflammatory bowel disease, allergy, colorectal cancer, kidney disease, and liver disease. Furthermore, studies have demonstrated the nutritional potential of lactic acid bacteria, included and in bifidobacteria in infant nutrition in terms of human system enhancement, antibody production, increased leukocyte phagocyte activity. No adverse, such, no, no adverse of the use of these bacteria in infant food have been reported to date. Lactic acid bacteria also possess other beneficial capabilities, namely synthesis of vitamin B, enhancement of mineral and nutrient absorption, degradation of the antinutritional factors, modulation of good physiology, and reduction of pain perception. The nutritional potential of lactic acid bacteria encourage the exploration to improve the nutritional quality of dog milk flour and enrich it with soybean and fish for infant feeding. Indeed, dog milk plantain is a food mainly be made, made by mixing of senescent plantain with maize or rice pulp. A study by Quadio and all improved that nutritional quality by incorporating soybean flour during its preparation. This flour increased the protein content and the content of fat and other essential nutrients, including iron and zinc. In addition, further studies have made it possible to enrich this food with fish and soybean and then to transform it into flour to increase its self life. However, certain conditions must be met to make it a real infant food. Indeed, the digestion of macromolecule of an infant food must be done as easily as possible and the product resulting from its digestion must be bioavailable for the organism. In addition, the consumption of this food should be able to solve the problem of intestinal cholera, diarrhea, and many other anomalies generally encountered in children of winning age. In view of all the problems mentioned, the import incorporation of probiotics is not an option, but a must because a no beneficial effect that they provide to children following the incorporation in the diet. Thus, the present study aim to reincorporate in the dog moon flour enriched with soybean, the fish and fish, lactic acid bacteria with probiotic properties isolated during the preparation process. In order to exert beneficial effect of the host potential probiotic candidate must possess a number of desirable characteristics such as, uh, such as tolerance to gastric concentration of acid, bilisol, sol, phenol, gastric juice, ability to aggregate and adhere to epithelial cell, and absence of pathogenicity factor, as well as identification of lactic isolate. This characteristic facilitates the smooth passage of probiotics in the intestine and allow their colonization. Thus, the incorporation of lactic acid bacteria with probiotic potential will increase the nutritional potential of enriched dog moon flour for infant feeding. 
The general objective of this study was to evaluate the probiotic potential of lactic acid bacteria isolated from fermented dog milk plantain past and enriched with soybean and fish. Specific objective consists to study the resistance of lactic acid bacteria isolated from fermented dog milk past to gastrointestinal condition, determine the safety of lactic acid bacteria isolated, and detect the technological properties of lactic acid bacteria isolated. The methodology consists to the preparation of a fermented dog milk past and a generation of lactic bacillus stream. The preparation will be done by the method described by Quadro et al. 2014, and the isolation was doing, the isolation of lactobacillus stream was doing uh, according the method described by Duro in 1989. After the isolation of the, 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 the isolate, the biochemical characterization uh, are doing uh, by using the conventional colonizer morphology, gram staining, biochemical reaction, fermentative type was carried out according to the method described by Duro 2003. The 16S DNA sequencing of lab strain was doing using the kit DNA, DNA TM fungal bacterial mini prep, and the gene was the gene was amplified using the primer, and the sequencing the the amplified gene was sequencing. About the criteria of resistance to gastrointestinal tract, uh, we do the resistance to acidic pH. Uh, the method used is those of K and all uh, using one molar of ACL and, and the, young, the, the, the strain was incubated at 37 degrees for three hours. The resistance to be salt was doing by using the method described by Isantopoulos uh, on, and the resistance to phenol was doing about the method described by Isantopoulos and all. The resistance to pepsin was doing by using the method described by Chen and all 2018. The safety criteria of lactic acid bacteria string was doing by study the homolysis test and uh, the method described by Yadav et al. Uh, 2016 was doing was used to, uh, to, 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 to do this study. It consists to deposit on lactic or uh, the deposit of lactic acid bacteria on blood agar plate containing 5% of blood. And the, the plate was incubated at 35 degrees. Uh, during 48 hours. Uh, the antimicrobial anti activity was doing by using the method described by Tades et al. Uh, and antibiotic sensibility of lactic acid bacteria was doing on plate on, on plate bioactive like, on plate active containing the bioactive at lactic acid of bacteria stain in MRS agar mass overnight. After the safety criteria, the technological criteria of lactic acid battery was doing and it consists to study the hydrophobicity by Rosenberg and all, the auto-aggregation test and the co-aggregation test by the method described by Colado and all. The result obtained, uh, the figure one and two the figure one shows the fermented dog milk plantain pass and rich uh, with soybean and fish, which permit to isolate the, 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 the strain of lactic acid bacteria. The figure two shows the lactic acid bacteria isolated from fermented dog milk plantain pass. Uh, table one revolves that micro microscopic observation of 40 bacteria isolated from fermented dog milk pass and rich with soybean and fish where all gram positive catalase negative oxidase negative bacteria of which 33 were bacillus and 7 uh, were coxy. 
The result is in agreement with that of Quadro et al. 2014, who, who isolated gram positive bacteria in fermented plantain dog past, and Divisecera et al. who isolate gram positive bacteria in fermented plant, fermented flower of selected banana flower go in Sri Lanka. Indeed, lactic acid bacteria are generally gram positive, catalase negative, oxidase negative. Uh, they are either homo, homo fermentative, homo fermentative and hetero fermentative, non spore forming, non mobile organism. Thus, this new isolate were therefore tentatively identified as lactic acid bacteria based on microscopic observation and biochemical characteristics. Table to show the identification, the Table to show the result of sequencing of 10 acid, acid bacteria isolated with the NCBI number accession and percent identity. Analysis of the result revealed that all second system are different species of Lactobacillus plantarum. The second system result are comparable to that of Gasoncha and all who isolate only different species of Lactobacillus plantarum from dairy product and fermented food. Thus, these results are different from Diviscera, uh, who identified a diversity of lactic acid bacteria, uh, Enterococcus, Latococcus plantarum, Pediococcus acidi lactis, and other, from fermented flour made from different banana varieties selected and go in Sri Lanka. However, the result of our study seem to be in agreement with the literature that confirmed that the use of lactobacillus plantarum strain as probiotic in many studies. Table 3 shows the, of of the, the resistant rate of lactobacillus plantarum strain to pH 1.5 and to pepsin at pH 2. Resistant rate at low pH above 80%. This means the lactic acid bacteria are able to survive to acidic conditions of gastrointestinal tracts. Resistant rate to pH 2 means that lactobacillus plantarum are able to resist to the sudden variation of, for, of pH after the degradation of food protein, which leads to a good change of pH from 2 and beyond. The, this high resistance of isolate to pH and pepsin suggests that the resist the, the, the different isolates are able to survive to gastric conditions simulated by the presence of pepsin and acid. The table for shows the result of resistant rate of, lacti of lactobacillus plantarum strain to 0.3% of solvit and 0.4% of phenol. The results show the, that the resistant rate of lactobacillus plantarum strain are extremely high in the presence of 0.3% of B during three hours. Uh, the, reasons, the resistance, which range from 68.64% to 100.65% for isolate BL08MI and BL01MC, suggests that the strain have a strong ability to detoxify this B salt in order to survive in the condition of gastrointestinal tract. The table for present, uh, the, survival, the survival rate of, of 40.59% and 128.24% respectively for isolate BL07RI and bl 0 10 MS are an advantage in the ability of the isolate to withstand to 0.4% of phenol. The result obtained in this study seem to be interesting comparable compared to, the, to those obtained by Xanthopoulos and all, in which isolate of lactobacillus plantarum, lactobacillus acidifilus, were inhibited in the presence of 0.4% of phenol after 24 hours of incubation. Table 3 
show the result of antimicrobial activity of different strain of Lactobacillus plantarum is related from fermented dog meat. Uh, acid bacteria are of particular interest because the, of the fermentative power to produce antimicrobial molecular, molecules such as organic acid, diacetyl, acetoin, hydrogen peroxide, antifungal peptide, and bacteriocin. Bacteriocin from lactic acid bacteria are often active over a wide pH range, resistant to high temperature, and active against different types of pathogen and food spoilage bacteria. More of, most of the strain show its antagonist effect against S. aureus. S. aureus, Listeria monostegenes, Salmonella, and Escherichia coli. However, the, the strain BL07LI and other have moderate effect on E. coli. The antimicrobial effect activity suggests that the strain could be of great interest toward food bomb gram positive pathogens such as Salmonella aureus, Listeria. Listeria monostogenes and Escherichia coli and Salmonella. Uh, the fig this figure shows the result of the anti antibiotic sensitive test of different strains. Uh, the table 4 shows the result of sensitive of Lactobacillus plantarum strain to antibiotic. Uh, Antibiotic susceptibility, as well as the absence of hemolytic activity, is also a safety purpose for the selection of, uh, of a, a strain as an, a probiotic. Indeed, the strain should have the lowest possible resistance rate to the statis antibiotic due to the phenomenon, phenomenon of resistance transfer to environment pathogen. For appropriate selection of fungal strain, the EFSI guideline recommends testing two main groups of antibiotics, namely protein synthesis inhibitor and cell wall synthesis inhibitor. Overall, the results show the lactic acid bacteria isolate a shown susceptibility pattern to beta lactam. Beta -lactam antibiotic and macrolid. In addition, all isolate show susceptibility pattern to ditrofuran and sulfonamide diaminopyrimidine strain. The susceptibility pattern indicate that this isolate could be considered for food application however the presence of or absence of virulence gene in this isolate should be verified for more certain certainty. The table 5 shows the result of hemolysis doing with Lactobacillus plantarum strain. The absence of hemolytical activity is a safety predicate for the selection of strain as probiotic as the, they must be a devoid of any form of pathogenicity. No zone of alpha or beta hemolysis were observed around the Around isolate grown on Columbia agar with human blood. This indicates that the isolate were not able to hydrolyze human blood. This result are in agreement with that of Ben Youssef at the level of lactic acid bacteria isolate from Rocco and Kemal milk. About the technological properties of lactic acid bacteria strain, table six. Table six so the result of the, of the, of the hydrophobicity, uh, the result of the hydrophobicity, shelf aggregation and co-aggregation test. The hydrophobicity cell of the, the hydrophobicity cell of the cell wall is a physical chemical properties that express the contact between microorganisms and epithelium. It is a parameter that allows the no the adhesion factor of lactic isolate to have a solvent. A high reflect a strong interaction between 
the lactic isolate and the epithelial cells of the gastrointestinal tract, resulting in a bitter exclusion of pathogen. In general, hydrophobicity either than 40% is recommended for the selection of a strain as a probiotic. The result of obtaining in this present study revealed that eight lactic acid bacteria isolated from the fermented docnopas had hydrophobicity rate higher than 40%. However, our hydrophobicity rate interval between 35.23% and 69.43% are lower than those obtained by Ben Youssef, who of whose hydrophobicity interval rate ranged from 39.19% to 85.49%, respectively for Leconostoc mesentery and Leconostoc mesentery v, v3. Strain isolated from raw goat and camel milk. This result showed that isolate with hydrophobicity level above 30% could be qualified as probiotic and then considered for food application. Self aggregation refers the ability of bacteria to interact in a non specific manner, a prerequisite for colonization and persistent in the human intergastro. Inter it also plays an important role in adhesion to the intestinal cell and in preventing colonization by pathogen. The high degree of cell aggregation indicates a better aggregation capacity of isolate and thus a better adhesion to intestinal cells as well as increase in the concentration of excreted inhibitory substances. According to Maldona, Maldo, Maldonado, and all, different, three different groups of lactic acid bacteria strain can be distinguished based on their degree of self aggregation high between 61 to 100%, medium between 31 to 60%, and low between 0 and 30%. The results obtained in this study reveal that the lactobacillus plantarum strain has high self aggregation capacity between 60.61 to 100% with the exception of BL07RE. Dr. Joseph, Dr. Joseph, it's time to conclude now. Okay. Give me one minute, please. Okay. Okay. Don't this means that our strain could be colonized the intestine other and the good and prevent the colonization by pathogen. The, the result of this study revealed that the co-aggregation abilities with Salmonella typhimurium are either than those obtained with Escherichia coli at all lactobacillus plantarum strain tested, however, isolated. Some isolate show it both the IVERS co aggregation percentage. The present study allows the isolation of microorganisms whose biochemical characteristics revolve there were many homofermentative gram positive lactic acid bacteria isolate. The study of functional properties revealed that the, the, isolate, the isolate were mostly able to survive in simulated condition of gastrointestinal tract in presence of b and gastric juice and phenol. The evaluation of safety level of the isolate revealed that they are sensitive to beta-latamine and macrolid and other antibiotic groups. The study of hydrophobicity uh, so, so that the, the, the isolate are able to fuse to the intestinal wells aggregate. In perspective, we want to study the technological properties such as antioxidant properties, enzyme production, freeze drying, and in vivo studies toxicity. Uh, thank you for your attention.